this is a dry uh, dry cabin so I haven't had rain in a while the horses are using the stock tank so there's no more water in there so I took down the uh, actually a storm took down this half of the gutter and I'll take down that half take it down during construction and it's only blown down twice and both times was hurricane force wind um, I know if it was physically attached it wouldn't have blown down but I don't want gutters there this is just temporary for me to catch I'm in the middle of a drought so I get a little water here I get a little water there nothing to write home about but uh, let me go ahead and pull those down real quick
So most of the magnets aren't high quality. They're just Harbor Freight magnets. They do fall apart pretty fast. Uh, if I was to do it again, I think I would clear coat them or something so they'd last a little longer. But some of them, every other uh, so many feet, like one per thing, I use one of these uh, heavy duty magnets that have the on and off switch. So then that's how I'm, I'm doing that. So there is a little bit of, uh, you know, some 100 or 200 pound magnet capable up in there. So, and it has been working. So that's one thing. I'm almost done. All I got to do is pull another couple of magnets off the end and the whole thing will come down. That was like five minutes for me to put up and pull down a gutter. So, all right, that's it. So just a couple of pieces of uh, sticky foil and some magnets. And that's a good way to put a gutter on one of these shipping containers temporarily. If you drill holes, you know, you got a hole in there, water can get in. This way I could take it up, take it down, still do my build. So uh, let me go ahead and finish that all up.